Hello, Sam here, editor of Oracle Time, and today I'm here with the Grand Seiko SBGW267 and SBGW269, a pair of incredibly handsome watches with a satisfying twist, at least for us cultured continentals. The more we love Grand Seiko, the more they seem to leave us wanting. We're getting worryingly used to the feeling of discovering a cool new model only to realise it's only available in a specific part of the world. It's like Netflix region locking your favourite show without a VPN in sight. It's happened with plenty of Japanese watches in the past, and more recently, a funky trio of green dialed pieces secured behind US borders. Well, finally, at long last, we have a release to call our own. And while it's one less watch than our stateside cousins, it's definitely a solid pair. The Grand Seiko Elegance SPGW267 and 269, otherwise known as the Kumosuki Light and Yukage Shadow Limited Editions. These new pieces use the same platform as the Verdant US releases, but rather than various greens, offer contrasting dial variations in silvery white and deep dark brown. The inspiration comes from Grand Seiko's new boutique in Paris, hence the European exclusivity which in turn takes its own stylistic cues from Japanese architecture. No surprise there. The specific element these pieces are riffing off is the shoji, a traditional Japanese paper screen used to diffuse light. Well, the theme of light and shadow is pretty obvious even without the names, but it's a bit deeper than just the colours. Look closely and notice a distinctive papery finish to the dials, the kind of subtle, almost imperceptible engraving that Grand Seiko are arguably the best in the world at. It's an effect you've probably seen before, though generally on old Rolex dress watches. The subtle crosshatch, light and irregular is similar to linen dials, made to imitate the effect of material rather than the deeper, regular finish of Guilloche. These days it's a bit of a novelty among collectors, and it's fantastic to see at least a version of it here. Those dials are a good part of what make the Kumosuki and Yukage a far dressier pair than their US counterparts, which opt for a more playful feel. That formal look works fantastically well with the clean-cut look of the Elegance collection, their diminutive 37mm sizing and their slim height, courtesy of the 9S64 handwound movement inside. That movement is pretty standard Grand Seiko fare, offering a still impressive minus 1 to plus 10 seconds a day, and a decent 72 hour power reserve. Of the two, I have to say the Kumosuki with its silvery dial is my preference. The lighter finish is just a bit clearer, and the monochromatic look makes best use of Grand Seiko's exceptional case and index polishing. That said, the way the Yukage's dial changes from black to brown in the light is lovely. Although, honestly, they're definitely designed to appeal as a pair, and I'm sure there'll be more than a few collectors out there desperate to own both of them. They may have a fight on their hands, though. Each piece will set you back 4,800 euros, which is a more than appealing price point for a Grand Seiko, let alone a region-specific limited edition. Unfortunately, with just 140 of each, getting both to choose from might be easier said than done. While this sort of limited edition seemed to be designed as crack for collectors, it's still satisfying to be right side of the distribution fence, especially when the company is as handsome as the Kumosuki and Yukage. Thanks for watching, don't forget to like and subscribe, and let us know in the comments which of the pair is your preference. And no, both of them is not a valid answer.